Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. Thank you so much for being here for our message for the week beginning January 11th, 2021. I think it's really important for us to start this message off this week with a meditation. I do try to premiere these videos at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, which would be noon Eastern Standard Time every Saturday, but sometimes that has to switch or fluctuate. I always try to go into the community tab on YouTube to keep you updated when possible. So if we can just start this off with a collective meditation, um, I am going to be hopefully premiering this a little bit sooner. I think it's important to do so. If you say that you do not know how to meditate, now might be a good time to learn. This is gonna be one of your most valuable tools in keeping yourself mentally and emotionally healthy while maybe looking at some things that you have been confronted with. Remember, I'm not a psychologist, but if you do need that kind of support, please make sure that you reach out to a professional uh, who can help you, all right? So let's just close our eyes here. You take whatever approach is right for you as far as whether you're lying down, sitting up. If you are choosing to lie down, please don't burn anything. It would be too easy for you to fall asleep, okay? You can just imagine light around you and protection, okay? So let's just all relax here for a moment. And you can do whatever kind of breathing pattern you feel is right for you at this time. But just breathing in. And releasing. And let's start off with just releasing fear, sadness, anything that's really affecting you. And you may not even realize that it's affecting you. Breathe it in. The peace, the light, everything that can cleanse this energy and breathe out the turmoil. Just allow yourselves to relax. Allow yourself to step outside of the narrative for just a moment. This isn't so that you are in denial, but rather giving your heart a break. Because again, if you are attracted to this video, if you're participating in this meditation right now, you have a duty to bring the peace to yourself so that you can contribute peace to the world. And this is how we function. Imagine the light in your heart. It doesn't have to be a small bit of light. This can be your entire heart space lit up with love and peace and harmony. And imagine that growing stronger and stronger with every breath and radiating out. This is not to overcome other people's free will. It is not to pass judgment. It is not to say, I put this love on people who aren't ready to accept it. We just offer it. We offer it as an energy for anybody who is willing to accept it now. Remember, right now you're stepping outside of the narrative. You're releasing all stories.
have peace in this world unless we have peace within ourselves. And we cannot throw our energy outside of ourselves. Tell others, we must be peaceful if we don't feel it within us first. And if your peace is blocked by things that are coming up for you, take note of that. That is what you need to work on. We are all going through those times right now. It's time to acknowledge it and work through it. take this light and send it out to every child in this world. And for every child that feels unloved or is not getting treated properly in this world, let us from our hearts send them the love that they deserve. And we invoke Archangel Michael God's purest love and light to go to these children and protect them. We invoke Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Metatron to go to each of these children, nourish them, shield them, let them know that they are worthy. Allow no harm to come to them. And if harm has already been suffered. Let them be healed and recovered. be ashamed of your spiritual work. We're in times now when people, because of their own discomfort, may try to shame you into behaving in the way that they expect you to. But this is what we must do. It's what we're here for. We bring the light and we bring the peace. Everyone has their role. Embrace yours now. All right. When you're ready, come on back. All right, so let's get into the message for this coming week. I am filming this on January 7th, 2021. I will try to get this edited and premiere this a little bit sooner than usual. Uh, It's interesting because, you know, before everything started to happen, I believe last week's message was about resting and and making sure we're working on ourselves and um, giving ourselves time to recover because we are going to be called to action. And again, if you're watching this video, chances are pretty good. I mean, there are some people that track these videos <laughs> and they don't have the best energy. They're here, you know, to troll or what have you. But um, for most of you out there, you're watching this video um, because you are good at being in your heart space. You are very in touch with your spiritual side. You are 
knowing the difference between spiritual nourishment and spirituality as disassociation, right? So we know what we have to do. It doesn't make us more special than anybody else. Of course not. But don't be ashamed, as we said in the meditation, don't be ashamed of your spirituality and what you know we must do, right? That we have to, and I bet when we were meditating, I bet you felt the connection with other people. And again, this is not an ego thing. That was us stepping outside of the ego and connecting into the heart, the, the pathway to the soul self and emanating out a different kind of energy. What happens from there, it just depends on other people's free will. Okay, again, it does not make us better or worse than anybody else, but this is what we can contribute. The message that was coming up before all this started going down um, was about self-compassion. Self-compassion. I know a lot of people were coming on YouTube and saying, hey, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not feeling so spiritual right now. I'm feeling fear, I'm feeling anger, I'm feeling sad, and that's normal, I think. <laughs> like I would say, okay, that's understandable. Please do not beat yourselves up when you have a very human reaction to things, okay? And this, this coming week, you know, this is just giving us a taste of what we're going to be seeing because, you know, the things that are occurring, however they're going to look. And you guys know that that's not really how I do my readings. I don't know. I kind of read an energy and I put it out there. I'm like, here, this is what's going on. We'll see how it plays out. I don't know. I don't really know what it's going to look like. But um, as we have things coming into our awareness, it's going to be very imperative that we're taking care of ourselves, especially people who would watch this video, um, because chances are pretty good that you are very sensitive and um, it doesn't mean that you're weak. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you're weak. It, it just means that you need to take a different approach. And it comes down to the whole idea that I say all the time of observing and just seeing, kind of just letting things kind of play out before you and watching, just kind of watching things unfold, yes? And coming into that peace within you, staying grounded, guys. I mean, I know that can be very, very difficult, but we really need to be doing that. And again, that's where that self-compassion comes comes in as well. So whatever comes up for you that you feel you might need to work on, uh, please, <laughs> anybody who tells you they don't have something to work on, that's a red flag. That is a red flag. People who won't acknowledge that, you know, they have a certain response to certain triggers or, um, you know, they think that their viewpoint is the viewpoint. Eh, careful, careful. This is another thing that's going to be breaking open in the years to come. And we're going to become more and more aware of human interactions and what, um, what kind of energy does that carry? Okay. So things that we've been very conditioned by, we're going to start going, Hey, you know, that's not the nicest thing to say to somebody right? or, Hey, that's not a nice approach or, you know, we can't bully people or, you know, whatever the thing is, you know, you know, I'm talking about narcissism. You guys know that that's been a big thing. And I'm actually quite pleased to see that people are waking up to that and becoming more and more aware. Yes. And that's part of the programming that we've been under is to just accept that. How often have you had someone's uh, enabler um, tell you you shouldn't be upset by that? Or, oh my gosh, you're the bad guy because you dare say, hey, I'm not accepting this kind of behavior. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, this is about our human condition, guys. And we're waking up to where there needs to be healing, where there needs to be some correction. Um, and even as I say correction, it's a very human way of putting it because then, you know, we just need to start looking at how we respond. And, you know, as events occur in the world, this is a practice for us as individuals as well. What was your response to the, to the most recent, I got to be careful with what I say here, to the most recent happening, right? A lot of different perspectives that were coming out and a lot of different, uh, you know, just again, the emotions behind it. Everybody had a different emotion. Some people were angry. Um, there, there are people out there who were, I don't want to go down that road. But anyway, there was a lot of different emotions that came up around this. And I know for me, I felt myself just 
having like reminding myself to get grounded to not get pulled into this and because we need to be focused and we need to be aware right it's just the kind of reaction you would hope you would have in any kind of dire situation where instead of panicking and getting pulled into the emotional surge you're staying present and grounded and watching and saying okay where can i help now i wasn't there i don't know what the heck i would do anyway to help but um the way I felt that I could help yesterday was trying to just check in on you guys and see, like, does anybody need to talk? You know, we have a forum here. How are you handling this? Are you okay? You know, all of this kind of stuff. And then people from all over the world, I think some of you um, hadn't heard yet what was going on. So, you know, I think, again, as these moments happen, we're learning to have more compassion for one another and to kind of, um, you know, bond with one another. And we're going to see where there are shortcomings. We're going to see where things still need to be healed. We're having more discussions that still have not been resolved. That's going to be occurring. Now, if we want to hide away and do all of that, I mean, listen, <laughs> you're going to do what you're going to do, right? But presence. We need to have presence. And that means presence within ourselves. Working on ourselves. I'm doing that. You better believe I am, honey. I'm doing the hard work right now. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm talking like childhood stuff, trying to educate myself, working with somebody who, you know, can really give me honest feedback and, and doing that kind of self-growth and self-development so that I can do my work and I can grow with everybody else, right? So just know I walk my talk, okay? <laughs> I absolutely do. So, you know, give yourselves this chance. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about self-care. You know, if you need to sleep some more, get some more rest. Make sure, you know, I, I haven't been eating so well the past couple of days. Why? Because I live by myself and I cook these meals and then I have to eat it for a week. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I need to free some stuff. So, I, so I've like been eating the same food every single day. I need to, you know, shift it up a little bit. But, um, you know, these kinds of things, just being aware, at least I'm aware of it, right? If you haven't been giving yourself a chance to move and um, get some exercise, you know, meditating, uh, saying that you don't know how to meditate, that's no longer good enough. It's no longer good enough. Learn. <laughs> Learn. Yeah, and I want to say too, I'm getting this feeling of uh, wanting to express that we all have to get into the space of the answer of I don't know or I can't is no longer acceptable. If we don't know, find out. If we can't, change that thinking, okay, because it's time to learn. So we're being asked to grow and develop and to not necessarily, don't play the old games. That's the feeling that's coming up. Don't play the old games. There's a cry for help here. It's coming from a lot of different echoes. And if we're running our mouths, if we're just being self-centered, if we're going, oh, I just, this just stresses me out, which is okay. Like, it, it, you know, that's honest, you know, but the more we keep focusing on trying to control the emotions, that's too much noise to hear what needs to be done. And I think that's the message that we're laying down here is that we have to start, you know, again, not beating ourselves up, having compassion for ourselves, but being more aware of like, okay, I'm, I'm getting thrown into something and I'm losing my focus or I'm becoming ungrounded or I feel like I'm getting pulled into somebody else's theories or ideas or you know what I'm saying like where do you where do we lose ourselves where do we lose ourselves and it's going to look different for a lot of for everybody you know we all have our thing so where can we be in silence be witness be of help and to serve in the way that we can and not, not let the wave of emotion, I want to say the roar of emotion, drown out the voices that need us. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's get on to the cards. All right, everybody. So if you like to see cards, that's the part that we're doing right now. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsoulsfull4.com. I also have extra readings. These are not the same readings that you get on YouTube. 
and courses and all kinds of good things about angels and spirituality and meditations and you know, all that stuff over at Gumroad, gumroad.com slash angel souls. All right. And I am hoping to get pretty caught up. I was getting caught up before. And then as soon as I said I was getting caught up, there was like <laughs> some readings that came in. But, you know, I am devoting the time to those, of course. And if you want to get a reading now, might be a good time to hop in line. I'm getting through them as best as I can. All right. <laughs> so let's see what card messages we have. Again, if this isn't your thing, I understand. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> And if you're here, thank you so much for being here and for liking and subscribing. Helps out. Let's see. What do we have here? What do we got going on? I think this is a good deck to use this week, especially. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in cancer. Check this out. We were just saying having that self-compassion, working on what people call it the shadow work. But uh, I, I kind of dance around some of those terms because they lose their meaning after a while. We get numb to it. But this is definitely looking at how you respond to things. What happens to you emotionally? Do you get so wound up in a perspective that you can't hear other people's perspectives? This is about us finding, finding our way to each other again and reconnecting. Yes. So in a way that is beautiful and profound. So even when things look a little crazy on the surface, sorry, my table's far away again. I didn't set this up right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm having to lean over, you know, as, you know, the more we get sucked into these things that are meant to divide us, uh, we're, we're starting to process that now and finding our connection with one another. Don't force it. Don't force it. Let it be authentic. Okay. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So what we did here was in fact, taking action. And that doesn't mean, you know, everybody's way of taking action doesn't have to be, um, let me, I don't know, do this, write a letter, um, or let me stand up and say this, or, you know, it doesn't have to look like that. You know, holding presence and space and being grounded. And, you know, if you're a spiritual person, you believe in energy and frequency and putting that frequency out there, that's you taking action. That's you playing the part that you're built to do. And not everybody's going to understand that. How often do we get, I don't want, I want to choose my words wisely here, but you know, how often do we get diminished, let's say, uh, for believing the way that we do or, you know, people not taking spiritual nourishment seriously because they don't foster that for themselves, you know, they might think this is. <laughs> nonsense or, or what have you, but really just stay true to what you know to be true for you. Yes. So if this, if you're a spiritual person and you're like, no, I, the way that I can help and contribute is by being at peace within my own heart and letting that peace go on out, letting the protection go out to the children. All right. Doing that part is you doing your part. <laughs> right? So don't let anybody else tell you that it needs to look a different way. All right. What do you need to release? Waning moon. Now we have some people in the community who are so against mainstream that they say, I, I don't listen to any of that. What I need to release is, you know, they have this resentment towards the mainstream. Now, how are you going to be at peace in your heart if you have resentment still there? That's part of your shadow work. That's part of what you need to release. Okay. Seeing yourself as above everybody else. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm talking to some of you out there. Uh, seeing yourself as above everybody else because you think you're, you know, one of the chosen ones. I don't know. Y'all, <laughs> like, come on. Or you're somehow uh, getting, quote unquote, downloads, again, an old term, but you're sort of special in some way because you have a spiritual. Once you start talking like that or even thinking like that, you are out of your wisdom. You are out of commission. You ain't helping nobody. I'm so serious. I said ain't. Okay, maybe time to release that. Okay, <laughs> so what do we need to heal within ourselves? Do you have a resentment? Do you have, okay, so speaking more, you know, joking aside here, um, what are you angry about? Is that something that you need to release? What makes you feel unsafe? What makes you feel unsafe? How many people have started to make really weird choices 
I know some people who are making or contemplating making some weird choices for their protection. And I'm like, that ain't gonna protect you. Like, what do you, what? No, like, what are you doing, <laughs> right? And me even having that response to them, maybe that's something I need to release because I'm not giving them, you know, that's how they feel. I need to stop judging that, right? So these are all the things that we need to start looking at. It's time for us to come back into authenticity. Yes, we talk about that all the time. Coming back to authenticity by releasing, well, acknowledging first and then releasing whatever it is that might be holding us up or creating some negativity, okay? Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Did I just say authenticity? Mm -hmm. Show the world the real you. It has nothing to do with a, a personality reaction. How many of us respond in a certain way because it's expected of us. I remember there was a time, it was decades ago, when everyone always expected me to have something witty to say, like a funny joke or something. Man, that was a lot of pressure. So something would happen and everybody kind of look at me and I'd be like, I gotta come up with something. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Or expecting me to be the tough one that was going to tell people, give it to them straight, right? And in a way, again, it, it exhausted me and it wasn't really who I was. I mean, I get lucky sometimes and I make a funny little thing, but it's not constant, okay? <laughs> if there's any consistency around that, I'd be a comedian, okay? But like, listen, lay off, you know? Like, I don't always have something witty to say. So, <laughs> this is releasing some of the expectation that other people have put upon us. And, you know, even in our anger responses, if people expect you to be angry about something when really you're just kind of looking at it and going, you know what, I think we're in a place now where anger, maybe in a certain situation, anger isn't going to serve us anymore. And rather, we need to take, we, we need to take a different approach. We need to look at this and go, what's really going on here? Honor whatever comes up for you, as long as it's authentic. Yes. And then work with our brothers and sisters here and go, what can, what can we do? What's the solution? All right. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be a mess. Did you know that? Did you know that life can be messy? Oh, you didn't? <laughs> well, <laughs> hate to be the one to tell you, but you know, all right, guys. Sorry. Again, the table is far away. All right. Let's get a color card here. Oh, is that right? Dang it, that was off camera. Y'all didn't see that. Anyway, a card jumped out. Here it is. Chocolate. Yes. Nourish. There's that word nourish. We we're saying spiritual nourishment. Nourish your body and soul. The number is 13, reduces to four. And it is, you know, thought that four is an angelic number that indicates that your guardian angels are around you. So again, for anybody out there who's feeling alone, you're feeling scared, you're feeling, you know, lost, <laughs> you know, feeling lost right now. We'll get there. And I think we're in the process of learning that we can be unified. We can, and I mean that in a spiritual sense, okay? Like I'm not a political person typically. I'm saying that in a spiritual way where, um, you know, it, it's lovely to have a, even the slightest connection with another person. Uh, I'll share this with you. I bought this winter hat. And it has the, it has the poof balls, but it's got two of them. So they're like ears and it's like a little cat face. Um, yeah, I'm 44 years old and this is how I dress, but whatever. It's, it's, <laughs> it's what I do. And, um, anyway, so I was wearing this with like a cute little outfit and I went to just go check my mail and the delivery guy was coming up and he just looked up at my hat and you could tell, like he went from like stress to like, that's kind of funny. And he smiled and he went from looking like he was stressed to smiling and we had a quick conversation and I know I walked away smiling because we both knew that we were kind of laughing at my hat. <laughs> you know? I mean, there are little things, little connections that we can have. And you know, he was seemingly wound up in his job. I was wound up in what I had to get done for the day. I got to go check my mail and I got to go over here and then I'm going to do this and I got to do that other errand and I got to come home and do this work and I got to, you know, and we stopped. And that moment was so refreshing and it was so simplistic. Can we do that a little bit more? Can we be there for one another a little bit more? You see what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, leave your comments down below. Let's have a discussion, whatever it is that you want to talk about. And we'll just leave it there. It's a long video. So I'm sending you all so much love and take care.